ba da testing testing one two three testing testing one two three oh crap Man, we gotta pretend like we in England and shit. It'll make it. Oh, now we know. Is it flashing? It's still flashing, okay. Welcome to Rocket Rolls, people. <clears throat> We're gonna see if we can go ahead and do a little good video on the Africa Twin and can you have too many electronics? I'm gonna tell you one thing. I got my um, Shad top case installed on the rear seat, on the Altrider rear seat. Uh, whatever you call it <clears throat> the little bracket diggy whatever you call it and um it actually serves as a nice little backrest i'm really feeling this it's a little awkward putting your leg over the seat climbing up on it but you know i climb up on the peg anyway i'll get used to it but i will i will love having this here i mean literally you can lean back on it like it's a backrest for a long ride this is gonna be this is gonna work out but um here we are on the 2020 Africa twin CRF 1100 it's not the D it's the other one what is that the L um, standard manual transmission this Africa twin is goes by the name of tornado and um, but the question is can you have too much electronics on a bike and of course I'm sure the answer is yes but we're not we're gonna pretend like the answer is not yes we're gonna say no and we're gonna talk about the electronics on this bike and we're gonna talk like even right now I don't know if I'm giving you a good view of this or not I'm trying to but um you know I'm currently using the Android Auto and I've got ways operating to give me directions I um this says that it's a 19 minute 12 mile ride but I can tell you now we're not going the follow ways exactly because we're not getting on the highway we're going to go the back way and um I'm also listening to Ban Pandora I believe I got my Meg the Stallion channel on it might be Cardi B I don't know so you know the technology is in full effect you can't see it at the moment and I don't want to switch it because I'm always jacking this thing up which we'll talk about that in a minute but um, I've got the user one mode configured for the lowest power se setting I think I got the traction control set at mm, four or five I think it's at four it might be a five and um, with the traction control the higher number is the more intrusive and then I've got the um, wheelie control set at 2. It comes in the settings of 3, 2, 1, and off. I keep it in 2. I don't want a wheelie, so I figure it. And if nothing else, it'll come off the ground. But if it does come off the ground, it won't, you know, loop. And that's good enough for me. Um, I'll probably have a heart attack if it comes up. I've never wheelied even a bicycle. Um, the ABS is on. I keep the ABS on. I'm a I'm a firm believer in, y'all know, I'm at GAT, so I believe in ABS, I believe in traction control, this has the 6-axis IMU traction control, so it means even in a turn, 
when you leaned over the traction control I need to adjust my um, my lever my gear shifter it's too low so I'm probably gonna do that when I get home um, I'm also rolling with the new Sedici Strada 2 Dino helmet which I'm actually liking this helmet I, I dropped down the size from an extra large to a large because um, I you know you heard me mention I've lost quite a bit of weight the last three months about 40 pounds in the last three months or so and so yeah we're not going to turn right we're not going to follow ways we're going to take the back way and um so I like the electronics and I'm going to tell you it's confusing it takes a minute to learn how to use this thing and I'm still learning it but I like it. I like the, my user one mode setup. I like being able to switch from touring to urban. Um, haven't really used the bike off road or in the gravel, but I have an off road and gravel. Actually, there's some gravel up here that I could ride on. But um, I like it. Oh, y'all serious? Are we going to do this? This is what we're going to do. Okay, see, y'all talk about bikes and our noise. Listen to this car in front of me. Um, I'm going to let them get ahead because I can't take it. Yeah, there's a little gravel road right here. I mean, I think technically I'm not supposed to ride on it, but you know, Sunday afternoon, don't nobody know. They don't care. It actually looked like they might have paved it. Oh, this one too. Oh, where are they going? They going. Ain't nothing up there. Where y'all going? Mind your business. Woohoo! Hi, oh, tornado. Away. Yeah, the only issue with this Strata helmet, it's it's noisy. So the next time I upgrade, it'll be an Arai or a Showy because I hear they're quieter and I'm going to see if they are. I, and I've been, I don't have my earplugs in, but that was kind of intentional. Hey, there's a bug in my helmet. He's gone. Good. Um, yeah. So I like being able to ride and use ways for my navigation. That's cool. And I mean, I could use it on the phone before, but I used to have the phone up on a little mount or whatever. I think he intentionally did that. Let me let him know that I can stop. I got skills, bro. I got skills. So, um, yeah, but basically, and you know what? The helmet is actually no louder with the screen open okay now it is then it was with it closed let's see if I close the vents there's one there's the other nah no quieter might as well just keep the vents open See the vent in the front is open. I'm dead to one of my chin. Slide it up. Down, open, up, close. Yeah, I can't even tell the difference. It's got a really good chin skirt, so I'm surprised it's so loud. But, um, yeah, so the electronics, you know, and then they got the TFT dash. Then they have the um, speedometer. It tells you your gear you're in and your mileage down here on this lower LCD. 
So usually up here, like if I wasn't using the navigation, which I'm not really using, then I'd be able to choose between the different screens. One, you choose your rider mode. You can be in tour, which is for highway riding, to uh, you know, load it down. Urban mode, which they say is good for riding around the city, but uh, I guess. Then there's gravel mode, where there's a lot of traction. Con Ugh, a bug just splatted on my helmet. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Now the bug is on my glove. Crap. Never mind. Sorry, people. And, um... Then they, you know, they got the off-road mode, which, like I said, I haven't been off-road yet. So, I've got the power set up in the setting that they use in the gravel mode. Uh, well, I just told you the traction set at 5 and the ABS is on. I'll tell you one thing about this bike. It don't matter what gear you're in. It, I haven't, it doesn't lug. barely hear the waves. I'm going to have to turn the volume up on the waves at some point. Oh my, is this open road? In front? Oh, it's not open. So you got all of these, you know, gadgets and it takes them out while to learn them. But honestly, I like having it. I like the options. Even though, you know, and it gives you something to do to figure out how to use it. Once you learn it, you know it. I mean, ha half the stuff that I didn't know how to use, say a month ago, I know how to use it now. There's some stuff I didn't know how to use a week ago that I know how to use now. And the few things I don't know, if I sit down and go back and look it up, I'll probably figure it out. I haven't exactly fine-tuned the turn on Android Auto. I can get it on, but sometimes I lose it. And I haven't exactly figured out how to switch back and forth between, say, Android Auto and User 1 Silver Mode. Using the hand controls over here. I'm trying to give you a view of the hand controls. Here are the hand controls. Hand controls. Looking like a gold wing. But um, the other thing that's kind of crappy is in order to use the Android Auto, you've got to connect this USB cable and it's got to stay connected to the phone, which means you have to find some place to put your phone. And the Goldwing gives you a little, little, you know, box case or whatever to drop the phone down in up in the dash area. You don't have that on the Africa Twin. So I had to go out and buy this giant loop. This ain't the Rogue, this is the other one. I forget what the bag is called. Handlebar bag. I ain't gotta get the name right. They ain't giving me no endorsement money. They should be glad I went ahead and spent on the Giant Loop, especially since the folks were saying it ain't waterproof. But I got an answer for that. Yeah, so I, I I think that the electronics on the you know what is this thing even still recording? It is. It's going to go cut off in a minute. Battery's dying on the camera, but um, I think it's great. You have options, and you know that brings me to another point I wanted to mention. A lot of people that seem to be really anxious for Honda to put out this 700 to 850 cc bike this you know a unicorn bike like the yamaha Tenere 700 aka t7 
and you know I think Honda may put something out but the catch is you know they have the NC X or NC 750 or whatever it is which is I know it's a street bike but there seems to be the catch is that nothing less than the Africa Twin even a CB 500 X just doesn't come with the ground clearance of you know the Africa Twin or the CRF 450L and I don't think they would not make a small adventure mid-size bike unless they consider this the mid-size with the ground clearance that those same people are going to be looking for but when you really think about it if you're really looking to off-road like that even if they give you a bike that weighs 450 you're going to complain about it weighing 450 this one's 498 if they give you a bike that weighs 430 somebody's going to complain about it weighing 430 they're going to complain about any bike that weighs anything more than 370 maybe 390 anything that's not in the high threes if once you hit 400 some people are going to complain about the weight of that bike and if you want something that weighs less than that you can go and get a CRF 450L and the 450L's got plenty of power for riding off-road. So this idea of building a 440, 450 pound bike with 700 cc's, you know, like a Husqvarna 701, a KTM 690, and you know, they weigh around 350, 360. You guys can correct me on that, but something like that. Um, if it's not that, and then is Honda really going to outcompete with a KTM 690? They're not. I think they know that. I mean, they're having no problem selling Africa Twins, I promise you that. And Yamaha is having no problem selling T7s. And on the international market, and even beginning to say so in America, Honda's not having any problems selling those CB, CB500Xs, which are 471cc, A2 qualified, and I could really run down all the specs on that, but I'll spare you. Yeah, I kind of miss cinnamon. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Tornado, but I still miss cinnamon. I'm getting more comfortable on this bike, I'll say that. As I'm approaching 300 miles. No, oh, is that new? I can't tell. They're just building stuff everywhere. took it. You might as well have. Yeah, I gotta adjust the um, gear shifter. Camera's still on? Camera's still on. Wow. Okay. Let me talk a little bit more. Um, I don't want this turn. Yeah, this feels good. And I like the taller windshield. Yeah, that's working out. So far, everything I've done so far is working out. I'll say this. With the CB500, I found myself 
buying a sparkle here and there that after I wow wow he's making a video too I'm, I'm gonna go Google him to so, do a search on YouTube same difference um, he had a good old O'Neill gear on the high vis yellow and he was balling so yeah I um I would buy some gear sometimes because you know I was a newbie and sometimes I'd get whatever it was and then it didn't really work out that well and I kind of feel that way right now about the giant loop rogue bag I mean I'm sure I'll use it especially when I'm going camping or whatever but it could have waited it really could have waited I really didn't need it when I bought it. I'm hot. <laughs> 70 some degrees. It's not that hot out. Well, I got a couple of layers on. never can have too much electronics. I'll cut this short. I'm not going to post the whole however long the video is. I'll figure out where I stop talking about the electronics and cut it short. Maybe I'll use this back end as a different video.